Welcome to the presentation on semiconductors, the heart of the chip. Table of contents. Introduction. Holes and electrons. Band theory in semiconductor. Properties of semiconductors. Types of semiconductors. Intrinsic versus extrinsic semiconductors. Applications of semiconductors. What is semiconductors? Semiconductors are materials that have a moderate level of electrical conductivity, which is in between highly conductive materials like metals and non-conductive materials like ceramics. These materials can be either compounds, like gallium arsenide, or pure elements, like germanium or silicon. Example. X semiconductors are widely used in several electrical and electronics components. Silicon C, germanium J, gallium arsenide, gallium 3 arsenide are the materials which are commonly used in semiconductors. Electron. In a solid material, electrons are negatively charged particles that move around atomic nuclei in the lattice structure of the material. Holes. If an electron in the lattice structure absorbs enough energy, it can jump from the valence band to the conduction band, leaving behind positively charged vacancy called a hole. Properties of electrons and holes. Electrons are negatively charged particles so that it can move openly through the crystal lattice of a semiconductor material. They are caused by the conductive properties of the material. Holes are the absence of an electron in the crystal lattice. They behave as positively charged particles and can move through the material in the same way as electrons. Band theory in semiconductors. In a semiconductor, electrons are arranged in energy bands which are separated by gaps called the band gap. Valence band, the energy band containing the energy levels of the valence electrons is called the valence band. Conduction band, the conduction band is the band containing electrons that are free to move and participate in electric current. Energy band gap in material. Insulator. The band gap is the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band. Semiconductor. In an insulator, the band gap is large enough that there are no electrons in the conduction band at normal temperatures, so the material does not conduct electricity. Conductor material. In a conductor, the band gap is so small that the electrons in the valence band can easily move into the conduction band, allowing the material to conduct electricity. Properties of semiconductors Semiconductors are materials which have an intermediate level of electrical conductivity, between conductors and insulators. Conductivity of a semiconductor material can be updated by doping the material with impurities or by exposing it to light. Semiconductors are used as light emitters when they are doped with impurities and revealed to a voltage. This property is used in LEDs and laser diodes. Resistivity 10 to 5 to 106 meters. Conductivity 105 to 10 to 6 mHOM. Semiconductor acts as an insulator at 0 Kelvin. If the temperature, it works as a conductor. Their resistivity range is higher than conductors but lower than insulators. Types of semiconductors. Intrinsic semiconductors. Intrinsic semiconductors, also known as unduped semiconductors which are pure semiconductor materials that do not contain any intentional dupants. X-germanium J and silicon C are the most common types of intrinsic semiconductor elements. They have four valence electrons tetravalent. Holes and electron. Extrinsic semiconductors. Intrinsic semiconductors which are intentionally doped with other elements are referred to as extrinsic semiconductors. X the examples of extrinsic semiconductors, that if pure silicon, germanium both are doped with chemical impurities like N-type semiconductor. N-type semiconductors donate its extra electrons to the semiconductor material so that it creates an excess of electrons in the conduction band. When a pure semiconductor is doped with a trivalent impurity, then its three valence electrons of the impurity bonds with three of the four valence electrons of the semiconductor. N-type semiconductors have a higher concentration of electrons than holes so which is considered as electron-dominant. P-type semiconductor. 
P-type semiconductors are created by doping with semiconductor materials such as silicon or germanium with electron-deficient impurities such as boron B or aluminum L. Impurities in P-type semiconductors accept electrons from the semiconductor material, creating electron gaps or holes in the valence band. P-type semiconductors have a lower resistance than intrinsic semiconductors due to the increased concentration of charge carriers. Nature of pure silicon conductors in different temperature. In absolute zero Kelvin temperature, the covalent bonds are very strong and there are no free electrons so the semiconductor behaves as a perfect insulator. In absolute temperature, few valence electrons jump into the conduction band and as a result it behaves like a poor conductor. Comparison between intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Charge carriers in intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductors have equal numbers of free electrons and holes, these are generated by thermal excitation. Charge carriers in extrinsic semiconductor Extrinsic semiconductors have an excess of either free electrons N-type or holes P-type due to the presence of impurities. Conductivity in intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductors have low electrical conductivity at room temperature, but their conductivity increases with temperature due to the generation of more free electrons and holes. Conductivity in extrinsic semiconductor. Extrinsic semiconductors have much higher electrical conductivity due to the presence of impurities that increase the number of charge carriers. Energy gap in intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductors have a specific energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band. Energy gap in extrinsic semiconductor. Extrinsic semiconductors have a modified energy gap due to the presence of impurities. Applications in intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductors are used in devices such as diodes, transistors and solar cells. Applications in extrinsic semiconductor. Extrinsic semiconductors are used in a wide range of electronic devices such as LEDs, lasers, and photovoltaic cells. Application of semiconductor. Semiconductors are used to make diodes, which are used in electronic devices that allows you to flow current in only one direction. Diodes are used in rectifiers, voltage regulators, and signal limiters, among other applications. Semiconductors are used to make LEDs, which is an electronic device that emits light when current passes through them. LEDs are used for example in lighting, displays and indicators. Semiconductors are used to make ICs, which are complete electronic circuits. ICs are used in many electronic devices such as computers, smartphones and televisions. Application of semiconductor. Semiconductors are used to make sensors, which are used to detect changes in the environment, such as temperature, pressure, or light. Sensors are used in various fields including automotive, medical, and environmental monitoring. Semiconductors are used to make transistors, which are electronic devices that amplify and change electronic signals. Transistors are used in many applications those are including amplifiers, oscillators, and digital circuits. Semiconductors are used to make solar cells and convert it from sunlight to electricity. Solar cells are used in many applications which include generating power for homes, businesses, and spacecraft. Future scope of semiconductors. Miniaturization. With increasing demand for smaller and more efficient devices, the miniaturization of semiconductors continues to be necessary. This can be achieved by improving nanotech and using new materials. Internet of Things. In the field of IoT and smart devices has created a huge demand for low power and low cost semiconductor solutions. So, scientists are developing a new type of semiconductor that can operate with less power consumption. Renewable Energy. Semiconductors are an important part of renewable energy technologies such as solar cells. The continuous development of semiconductors and manufacturing processes is expected to improve the efficiency of solar. Artificial Intelligence Use of semiconductors in several projects which are based on AI and ML increases. They need more powerful and efficient computing devices. Quantum Computing Nowadays quantum computing is a rapidly growing field which requires new types of semiconductors and materials. Scientists are developing quantum computer technologies using various semiconductor. Thank you.